Hey guys, in the past I've spoken about individuals trying to dominate Scorpios and um, take over the relationship. Now, this happens in various ways, but right now I particularly want to speak upon um, when they come in at a weak point at a very weak point and uh, try to prove that they're in charge. And they do this in a myriad of ways. So we're going to take a look at Lamar Odom, who is a fellow stinger, and his new fiance. Her name is Sabrina Parr. So I saw um, an Instagram live video that she did and after that, I went and checked out a few of their interviews together, and I noticed a pattern. I noticed the pattern. So who is this woman? I have no idea. <laughs> I had absolutely no idea who she was. Never heard of her. You probably have never heard of her either. But let me show you what information I found. So she is a, a Taurus. Um, just turned 33 years old. Now, I thought she was in her 40s. Um, she looks very, very mature, but she's only 33. Um, and she is a fitness coach. She's a fitness coach. She's on Instagram. She has uh, a pretty strong following. She has three children, and she was previously married. Um... So, her past is interesting because she has a very um, violent past. She has a very violent past. She was actually found guilty on um, two counts of assault, second degree felony, uh, one count of domestic violence, first degree misdemeanor. And she was sentenced to serve three years probation. And she did, I think, roughly six months um, of jail. Or she was sentenced to six months and she um, was released a little early. I'll link the arrest documents. When you get arrested, it's all public. So anybody can pretty much look up your past and see... Um, what you were arrested for. So I'll link that below if you want to check it out into detail. Now, she got arrested on these charges. Um, just to briefly describe what I read the incident uh, was, is that um, she was out at some basketball game and came home and she went to go to the restroom and she had two cell phones and one fell out and her husband um, who didn't know about the extra cell phone, he had looked into her phone and saw some text messages. And I think he assumed that she was cheating. He may have confronted her. So he got upset and said that he was going to leave the home. Now, on the way down the stairs, she started cursing at him, fighting with him, and struck him in the head with, like, a trophy Um and he actually had to go to the hospital and get seven staples. Um, she threw the keys and just drove off, even after he begged her to take him to the hospital, because clearly he was bleeding. And uh, when he did call the authorities, they had um, went after her, and that's when you know they arrested her and so forth. So anyway, that's her past. She has a very violent past. You know, clearly she has a temper problem. I don't know if she. Uh, received help for that, went to counseling. Um, but anyway, um, she has children with her ex and that is it. So fast forward, <laughs> she, um, meets Lamar Odom. Now, how do you guys think they met? <laughs> how do you guys think they met? We're going to talk about that in a bit. So I looked at her Instagram just to get a kind of a feel of what we're really dealing with. 
because I'm thinking, okay, well, 33, three children, this is, you know, a mature adult who uh, is running a business, a legitimate business. Um, she has a strong following. She's a, a trainer, certified, I hope. I'm sure she is, actually. I'm sure she's certified and has credentials. And um, I looked and I saw some unfavorable photos um, that are typical of Instagram, you know, these wannabe models who are always in thongs and they're showing their butt and things like that, you know, not the most respectable pictures for a mom of three. Um, however, uh, they strike me as photos of a person who wants to be put on, someone who needs the attention, someone who wants men to look um, at her, but also wants women to be kind of jealous and maybe um, want to be like her. Um, now, I know there are a lot of fitness coaches who, of course, show, their, show off their body because that's basically what they're selling. But there's a certain way to do it. And hers clearly screams, please look at me and give me some attention. So, um, fast forward, how did, how did she, how did she meet Lamar? Um, first I want to get into her IG live really quickly, and then we'll go backwards. Cause I think this is important. So she did in Instagram live and you can see the whole live on nine mag TV. Actually, you know, this is a great uh, channel where they show a lot of celebrity, um, IG Instagrams. You know, I, I sent you guys over there to see the Gabrielle union one. There's a lot of really interesting, uh, interviews, um, on their channel. So I'll put that link and you can check out the whole thing. But what I noticed right away, what I noticed right away, is that at the beginning of the live, he didn't even know he was on live. <laughs> she turns the camera on, she starts talking to him, and he's like, oh, wait, we're on live? You know, so it was kind of like that surprise attack. But it was also the energy of this average woman. She lives in Ohio, I believe lives in an average looking neighborhood. You know, she's not a celebrity. She's not a, you know, big time or anything like that. Um, and she wants everybody to know that Lamar Odom, who is an, you know, ex NBA star, superstar is with her. You know, this, this is the thing. And, and, and he's in the background. He's shocked that she has him just on blast like that. And uh, the first thing she starts talking about is how she beat him at some basketball game that they're playing. And she's very adamant about letting you know that she's an amazing athlete and that, yes, he's good, but he's getting old. And he's always lying, telling lies that, you know, she can't beat him. And really, if you look at the whole entire video, that's all she's doing. She's literally going in. Now there's segments where she laughs things off as jokes, but she's obviously very serious. And I talk about people who do this when they have very jealous intentions and they want to put you on blast. This is something that you can always tell, especially in a Scorpio dynamic where there's some undercurrent of jealousy happening. And you guys know that I'm not favorable about Taurus uh, Scorpio relationships. They're opposing signs. And I'm going to do some more conversation about what opposition means. Because a lot of you are bamboozled um, and you're always trying to convince me that opposites attract. And that is one of the most horrible lies that was ever invented. I literally don't even know. Who invented that lie? How it spread it? Um, opposites absolutely, absolutely do not attract. 
uh, we seek out similarities in relationships. That's how we bond. Um, we look for people that are similar, similar to us. We attract only those who are similar to us. As a matter of fact, opposite energy clashes and they, and you really, there, there's no sticking point. You wouldn't even stick around. Um, you wouldn't have an intimate relationship if you're the opposite. And, and we're going to get into more of that in another session. But I want to talk about um, this jealous undercurrent and this, this longing for someone who is weak, who is weak, who just waits, they just kind of squat for somebody who is having a bad, a bad um, moment, bad moment in their life. Now we know that Lamar has had a really rough couple of years. He um, has been battling uh, drug addiction. Uh, for quite some time, and we it, and we know that's a tough thing. It's a disease. It's a, it's an illness, and it really should be treated like any other illness, any other illness. And uh, uh, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, any kind of addiction needs um, traumatic attention, and it has to be consistent. It has to be consistent. Um, if any of you guys have ever had an any type of addiction, whether it's food, drugs, sex, whatever it is, you know um, that you really have to dedicate your life to um, getting well and being around specific types of people, specific types of people. Um, I do believe that, uh, you know, the Sabrina given her past, needs a lot of help herself. And that's how they attracted each other. But listen to this. Listen to this. So in this uh, Instagram live, she has tried to emasculate him, put him down, and, I mean, consistently through the whole entire video. You know, he's old. Clearly, he, you know, he was an NBA star, yes, but he's getting up there and he should pass his skills on to the younger generation. She can beat him. You know, he's a liar. She's talking over him. She has this extremely masculine energy. I mean extremely ma masculine energy. I am shocked, actually. <laughs> um, I'm shocked, but then I'm not shocked because they both have emotional issues, deep, deep-rooted emotional issues. Now, this is a woman who put seven staples in her ex-husband's head, and that probably wasn't the first time that she's charged at him and physically jumped on him. Um, and, uh, you know, Lamar has been battling his problems, so two people with problems usually get together. <laughs> That's usually how it works. It's not one person who's healthy who, who gets into a relationship with a sick person. It just does not happen that way. It does not happen that way. So through the whole video, she's calling him a liar. She's downplaying, you know, his, his, his game. And you should see the comments. People can just see right through it. They're just like, please get away from her. You need to heal. She's so masculine. She's so loud. There's even one time when she calls him bro, and I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, wait, couples would never, um, they would never do anything like that. A woman would never refer to her man as bro. Um, she would never go against him and downplay him, especially on live. Like, think about that for a moment. She went for the whole world to see on live and just played him out. And he, he wasn't even in the video for the most part. And when he was, he just looked at her. I mean, the, the look that he gave her is always like, what the F are you doing? Like, discuss. And I do believe when the camera went off, there was some deep conversation. And so 
there was a moment that I thought was interesting where someone asked, are you guys going to have kids? <laughs> and she looks over to him and says, you know, like, are we going to have, are we? And he goes, who, you and me? <laughs> and I thought, wow, that, that just says it all. But she, she's like, of course, who else? I'm thinking like, listen to him. Who, you and me? He's thinking like, hell no. You know, he has children, she has children. But the way that he responded, you know, his expression was just like, she's like, oh, when, when, when? You know, and, and then she tries to act like she's the big cat. She's the one in charge. She's like, oh, if it's up to him, you know, I would have had kids. I would have been here pregnant. And, you know, it was really a disgusting energy, really a disgusting energy. So listen to this. Listen to this. And as you watch these videos, I'll put the links to interviews that they, they've had together. You'll start to put the pieces together. You start to put the pieces together. And I know you guys will be in the comments saying, Taurus and Scorpio, they have nothing to do with this. Oh, sure it does. Of course it does. Of course it does. Of course it does. It doesn't have everything to do with it, but it does. Um, opposing energy is not just friction. It's about projection. And if you pay attention to the videos, you'll see where she was projecting her insecurities. She literally was sitting there the whole time trying to strip away all of his excellence, downplay him, make him look like a punk. And it's her that's insecure. Now, watch how this ties into what I'm about to um, tell you. How did they meet? So her story is that she was at an event and she saw him. And she claims she didn't really know who he was. She's heard of him, maybe saw him in passing, but eh, no big deal. Like, really, she didn't know Lamar Odom. Okay. Um, I do believe she did, you know, say that she knew who he was. She didn't know him personally. But the way in which she said that was kind of like he wasn't a big deal, which he is, which he is. So... She claims that she felt like she was the prize. She was a big deal. She walked right next to him. You know, a very masculine way to do things. Go up to a man. <laughs> and she said she stood next to him and she just knew that he was going to talk to her. She just knew it, right? And this is her version of the story. They got together. You know, he needed a comeback on how to get in shape. You know, she's a trainer. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. And so in all of these interviews, you'll see the dominant, the dominant um, way in which she conducts herself. She always talks over him. She uh, controls the conversation. She makes him look like a puppet, like a child. Like he doesn't know what he's doing. He needs me. And um, I found it interesting when the when one of the interviewers asked him, you know, about how they met. And Lamar, oh gosh, Scorpios are so deep. We don't even have to say much. Scorpio can let you talk. And we'll just say a few words. And those few words will just be more prevalent than anything you've said. <laughs> He said this, and I agree. He said that what attracted her to him was um, his pain, was his pain. He said he do believe that she was attracted to all his pain and darkness. And she jumps in, oh no, I'm not. Nah, that's what it was. That's what it was. That's exactly what it was. Why? Because she's, she's dark and she's in pain. And like attracts like. Now, what I do want to say is that nobody's in favor for this relationship. Everybody could see problems. Everybody could see problems. His children, uh, I believe his daughter, found out that they were engaged on social media and flipped out. And she even posted something because she 
knew that there was abuse going on behind the scenes. Um, he posted a photograph and she commented, was this before or after she punched you in the face? And I was thinking, wow, you know, she, 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 she's still sick. They're both still sick. They're both still sick. And then I was thinking, how the hell did she reach him? She claims she's, she's five, seven, which I am. He's six, nine. She must've waited till he was sitting down eating ramen noodles to bust him upside the face, you know, sneak him from the back. Um, that seems to be her thing, you know, and her ex-husband, um, wow, what an intelligent man. He just got out of that marriage. He was like, I'm not here for that. I'm just not here for it. And, uh, you know, Lamar's daughter, um, and his son disapprove of this relationship. You know, um, I do believe it. I believe that she punched him in the face. And I don't think it's happened once. I think that's just how she deals with things. And so this is an interesting, interesting thing for you guys to think about. I want you to think about, because you always ask me questions. A lot of you are in relationships, volatile relationships, just like this. And you do the blame game. You did. You do the blame game. I did a video a while ago. People still get upset about it. It's called the Scorpio Blame Game. <laughs> and um, you never want to look in that mirror. Now, Lamar, he's smart. He's smart. He knows he's sick. He needs help. He literally needs to be by himself. He should not be in any relationship whatsoever. The only relationship he should have is with the one in the mirror. The one in the mirror. He should not be getting engaged or involved with any woman right now. He's very Ill, Ill, he's been through a lot. He's been, you know, he's overdosed. You know, he fell into, you know, a coma, I think. He had all sorts of heart attacks, he said. Um, I mean, it was traumatic, but he's a Scorpio and he's back. He, he, he bounced right back. You know, that's what we do. And then, he meets someone of opposing energy who projects their jealous, ugly, disgusting ways. And what she's doing is pretending that she's the savior while she steps on his fucking throat. This is what this is disgust, this disgust that I can always see um, within dynamics like this. Now, a lot of you are in terrible relationships. And you love to blame the other person. He literally said that she's attracted to my pain. You know, he's very open about his issues. And in these videos, he I'm going to be honest, he looks terrible. He looks absolutely terrible. Um, and she looks terrible. She looks loud, disgusting. She's not confident. She's not any of the things that she wants to be, um, which is the reason why she needs to try and uh, take away, chip at him the way that she does in every single interview that I've seen. Um, I'm going to, in another session, talk about opposition in, in more detail, in more detail. And a lot of you may say, oh, you know, I'm with the opposite sign and blah, blah, blah. And a lot of you aren't telling the realness um, of that. And I'm not saying that it couldn't happen to be harmonious. Um, but I just want to go a little bit deeper into that in the future so you, that you get a clear picture of really what it means, what opposite energy means. Now, he could have met any woman. He could have, that's true. She would have been sick, though. It would have been another woman like this one who is ill. And um, Chloe was ill. And attracted him. They met and married and all that in one month. Uh, she's insecure. She hates herself. And she met uh, him when he was doing drugs and he was sick. Sick people meet sick individuals. And a lot of times you guys can't tell on the outside because someone looks good and they dress nice and they got their little photo filters on. And at home, when the camera's off and the makeup is off and the lashes are off, they are dying on the inside 
see, I'm a Scorpio, so I know better. I know what pain is. I know what real low self-esteem is. And the outer layers are irrelevant, which is why we like to strip them apart. We like to strip away those outer layers and get to the root. And I could see the root of her, and I could see the root of him. And it's ugly. It's ugly. Everyone in the comments can tell. They're like, she's clout chasing. I mean, even in the photos, she stands in front of him. Everything about her says, I am taking over this whole situation. She's even, you know, made him look like a fool in one of the interviews. Like a fool. Oh, I'm taking over his contracts. I'm calling people. I'm the one in charge. A lot of you, do, you guys do this too. I've seen in the comments. Oh, I'm with a Scorpio and I'm doing X, Y, and Z. Meanwhile, you're really sick. You're really sick behind the scenes. You're depressed. You hate yourself, you know? And then you meet someone who hates you just as equally. <laughs> and it's a hot mess. Um, and it's a hot mess. Um, so then comes the blame game. Oh my gosh, this is their problem. No, you have the problem. You have the problem. You have the problem. That's why you met. So I just wanted to go in about this. Um, and talk about this projection, this projection, this projection, this uh, waiting for someone to fail, waiting to try and dominate when they're down. That's a weakness. That's not, that's not a strong person. That's a weakness. Um, trying to devalue them, chip away. And I want you guys to really look at him. To really look at him. Throughout the whole thing, he's saying, I can't believe you just turned on the IG and didn't tell me about it. But that's her MO, the sneak attack. Like, ah, look, look, look. There was one, um, <laughs> there was a video on her Instagram, and I was like, oh my gosh. There was, um, a video. She's sitting on the floor. She's got a ton of mailers out because she sells this detox tea, <laughs> which is bullshit. She sells a detox tea. And there's tons of mailers and her and Lamar are stuffing the mailers. Like he's sitting on the floor looking like some regular guy, you know, about to go to the post office. <laughs> and she puts him in the video, I guess, to prove that he's going to sit around and sit on the floor and stuff envelopes, you know, from a big NBA player to stuff envelopes. And the caption says, you know, well, she's a tourist, so she's all about money. She's like, when you have your own bag, your man doesn't mind stuffing bags. I'm like, what was the point of that? Why would you do that? I would have never, ever in a million years recorded some video like that to put it up. Everything she puts with him is trying to put her in this big position and make it seem like he's nothing. He doesn't know anything. He needs her. Um, a very, very weak woman. A very weak woman. A very, very weak woman. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to uh, touch base on that. Um... Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. If you guys want to book a live stream session with me to talk about any issue that you want, um, make sure you go to Scorpio Sun Scorpio Moon .com, my website, and you can book it there. You can also get a couple's chart reading or a uh, basic chart reading where I go through your personal planets, and I really explain to you what they are. A lot of you don't understand how your planets work. I explain to you what they are, and I explain to you how they're relevant to your uh, personality, your day-to-day -day personality, and your intimate relationships. So uh, make sure you check out my website, and I'll definitely see you in our next session. I am going to post a little bit of the IG video um, right now.
Stay tuned. You're out of my life. You're in love? Yeah. You want to talk about how you just lost? Oh, you going to try to lie? You going to try to lie? That's what you about to do? <laughs> you going to try to lie to people? Yeah, you hit me with the Robin Givens joint just now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, what does that mean? You just hit me like, oh, you going to talk to my life? Like, yeah. <laughs> but you going to hit me with the Robin Givens joint. So listen, it's snowing. Let me show y'all what's going on in Cleveland, Ohio. It is snowing. They know where I'm at. They know I'm in Cleveland. But we decided to, somebody was challenging oh, Lamar. Because <laughs> yeah. he always lying. They was challenging Lamar to who? So they just played a quick game of pig. Pig is just, if you miss the shot after someone makes it, you got to pee. So whenever you spell out pig, you lose. So anyways, I came out here, you know, just to check it out, see what was going on. I wasn't even about to play because my wrists are all messed up. I've been out of commission. And what? Kia, you didn't even warm up. I know. You didn't warm up. Next time, I'm going to start from the beginning. So anyways, I don't need to start from the beginning. I'm just hot right in. I mean, I won. <laughs> Lamar. Who was you playing at mine? Lamar. I ended up playing. Before him. Lamar. You. As soon as you left, I was behind him the rest of the time. Yeah. Yeah. So, Lamar. What were you doing? Did you lose or or not? You wasn't shooting far enough. I was. So, you didn't shoot from the the curb on the grass. You didn't shoot from all the way over there? Oh, but when I was playing behind you, you were shooting from the. You didn't shoot from there? Man, this is why I don't like playing him. Because every time I play him, every time I play him, he lies about losing. Every single time. The next time, next time, I'm recording the whole thing. That's a, that's it, y'all. Yep. So the next time we play, I'm going to just put it on live. So it ain't no editing, nothing. And y'all going to see. Lamar good. He real good. He one of the greatest. But he can't beat me. He can't beat me. So what does that make me? <laughs> what you mean when I hit you with right now? It's kind of sad to him. That's scary. When she just started telling everybody. <laughs> I just went right to the blog. Like, but I'm talking about basketball. I know that. But I'm just saying. You, just, you didn't even give me like, let me know that you're going live. Oh, so you need to be prepared to talk about. Now, if you would have won, you would have been like, turn your live on. Turn your live on. Let me talk to the people. <laughs> I just want you to say out of your mouth, Lamar, because you always trying to play me. What? You call me sorry, can't move, all this and that. So just keep it real. You beat me in the What else did I beat you in? Is that the first time I beat you? This was my game around the world. Yes, sir. I beat you in what else? No, I'm oh, I asked him what other time did I beat him. Oh, in around the world? Yeah. Got that on record. One, two, one, two, one, two. Huh? It was one-on-one? Okay, one -on -one. No, we played one-on-one. -on -one, he beat me by one point. But when we played... No, we played one-on-one -on -one around the world. Yeah, it was just us two. And I was recording it. So we can't lie about that. That's the time where I shot the air ball when you come back. That, that game? No. You didn't just shoot an air ball and let me come back. You, that's not what happened. That's not what happened. So that's why I'm saying, like, you trying to simplify it like, oh, yeah, I shot an air ball and you won. No, you had me down, like, five buckets, bro. Like, I'm, gotcha, gotcha, bro, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You had me down so much, and you was running your mouth. You all that running your mouth. And yes, you shut the door, baby. I'm just. It was just special for you to say. Uh, I shot an air ball and came back. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. Hey, but be careful. All I'm saying is. Come on, we going to the Walmart or what? No, we going to go to Target. Target. Yeah, Target got what I need right now. Walmart doesn't. I look crazy. Thank you all for the uh, suggestions on the sunroom that I'm remodeling into a bedroom.